Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We are in the Art of the Image kitchen, my kitchen at home. Anyways, I have up here, I don't know if you could see it with the backlighting, there is an orchid. And I was going to do some shots demonstrating the uh, couple of lenses, namely the 85 F18G on the D5500. But I wanted to show you how, light, uh, how the white balance affects the color. And I think a lot of people don't realize this. They just rely on auto white balance on your camera. My camcorder right now that I'm, that I'm uh, filming this, my Canon Vixia HF200, whatever it is, um, is in auto white balance right now. And up above, we have some compact fluorescent light bulbs. And we also have sunlight coming in from the back through the sunroom windows. Um, so you're getting a mix of light and the camera's trying to automatically color balance that. Sometimes it does a good job. Sometimes it doesn't. The quickest way to deal with that is a white balance tool. This is a collapsible white balance card. It's got a target on it so you can your camera can lock on. And it's gray and it has a white on the back. But I always just use the gray. So it's like 18% gray or whatever that is. These are the best, fastest way. I use these all the time, especially when I'm doing video because I want my white balance to be perfect. And it makes your color look so much better. So this is auto white balance on my camcorder. Let's take a picture with this, with the camcorder. We'll set the white balance, and then we'll show you what it looks like after. So I'm gonna come over to the camcorder, and I am now going to the camcorder and gonna take a picture. Okay, so we're back. Took a shot of the white balance card, set the custom white balance using that. That's basically what you do. You go to your settings, go to custom white balance, and then you hit whatever combination of buttons is required to set it. It basically takes a picture and figures out what the white balance would be. What you should be seeing now, as opposed to the beginning of the video, is that there's a better white balance now. My shirt should be the better color blue that it should be, the red, the yellow, and the Superman. My hat with the yellow M should be really yellow, and it should be the blue Michigan and yellow M that it should be. And my skin tones should look better. Everything should look better because we've set a custom white balance. Saves you, especially with video, having to go back and grade this later is a real pain in the butt and sometimes doesn't take very well. Whereas if you set it ahead of time, you get perfect color right out of the camera. All from one of these. You can get these for anywhere from about 10 bucks to 30 bucks. I'll put a link below. There's some really good ones on Amazon. Um, and I'll put a link below. You could check them out. Um, they're collapsible, like I said. You could fold them right up in your bag. They fold down to, like, what is that, four inches or something? Like, my fits in my palm of my hand. And it just pops right back up. Beautiful. Works great. Easy to do. Easy to carry with you. And it will improve your video immensely. Works great for photos, too. We'll show you that. The next video will bring out the D5500 with the 85 F18G. And I'll show you the difference when I'm taking a photo of the orchid behind me in this mixed lighting. Stay tuned.